Food Network has produced some incredible shows, including $10 Dinners, which features Melissa D. Arabian. D. Arabian famously won the fifth season of Food Network star, going on to success as a TV host and cookbook author. But she's had some tough times too. Here's what you may not know. $10 Dinners is a fairly straightforward concept for a cooking show, providing viewers with meal ideas for families that wouldn't exceed a $10 budget, with a focus on keeping the meals both healthy and budget-friendly. One detail that wasn't always made public, however, is Dee Arabian's background, and her very real experience inspired her to help families needing cheap, healthy food options. According to an interview Dee Arabian did with HuffPost, the Food Network star's mother was a single mom pursuing medical school during her childhood. Growing up in Tucson, Arizona, Dee Arabian learned early on that even something simple like putting food on the table for your children can be difficult and sometimes altogether impossible for people facing economic hardship. According to her, she often came to grade school without any lunch or money to buy lunch, relying on a payback system at the school and consequently racking up IOUs. Unfortunately, even the cost of the lunches, apparently just 45 cents at the time, was too much for Dee Arabian's mum, and the young girl often had to find new options for daily meals. That school cafeteria can tell you a lot about where you stand in the social pecking order, and that's where I realized that I was poor. Thankfully, Dee Arabian found a hero in an unlikely place. When a kind receptionist noticed Dee Arabian's situation, she set up a way for the young student to earn her lunch. She could help serve food to the other kids in exchange for a free lunch. This, Dee Arabian told HuffPost, had a, quote, huge impact on where her life was headed. Dee Arabian didn't realize it then, but this one kind gesture made by a school faculty member would stay with her well into her adult life and would even serve as part of her inspiration for her future career. In an interview with Coronado Eagle and Journal, Dee Arabian stressed how much better she did in school on a full stomach and added, I am thankful for the people who reached out to me, shared life through food and found the compassion to put me in a school lunch program. Being raised by a single mother and having the help of the benevolent receptionist imparted on Dee Arabian a desire to go on to make a difference in the lives of other women. As she shared with HuffPost, My girlfriends were my family. We were each other's support. I love women and I'll always try to help any woman achieve her goals. As easy as Melissa Dee Arabian may make life seem on her cooking show now, her past is full of obstacles she's had to overcome. In an interview with Parade, Melissa revealed that when she was just 20, she called home to ask her mum for her credit card number, but was instead greeted by an officer who informed her of her mum's death. Her mother had taken her own life, and Melissa was left to fend for herself in her 20s. As she explained to Parade, this sudden tragedy made life in her 20s, quote, a mess. Sometimes the only way out is through. And I know that even the biggest tragedies have their gifts in them. Though this tragic event played a big part in who Dee Arabian is today, she also told Parade that she's learned to cope, and her anger at her mother eventually turned into, quote, an imperfect understanding. While it's a painful memory, the TV star acknowledged that she feels she wouldn't be the wife and mother she is now without having gone through all the turmoil and struggle that came during that period of her life. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. While Dee Arabian and her mother may have struggled financially during her younger years, the $10 Dinners host actually went on to land a successful job working in finance and strategy for the Walt Disney Company in France. But when she and her husband, Philippe, started a family, she gave up that particular career, despite earning more than her spouse did at the time. And of course, we know she later focused on $10 dinners after winning the next Food Network star cooking competition in 2009. It turns out Philippe does hold a high-ranking position at Microsoft, so we can assume he's probably making pretty decent money, even with his wife's career in mind. Plus, as noted on Melissa D. Arabian's Food Network bio, her family lives outside San Diego, a pretty expensive area to own a house. The success of the duo has led some to question whether D. Arabian is in any position to tell other people how to cook on a budget, but the Food Network star has a response to that. 
In the face of criticism that she no longer needs to budget her meals because she has a husband supporting her, she joked to HuffPost, The idea of some wealthy husband bankrolling anything I do is really, well, kind of a joke. My husband and I have laughed over what we've read about me, that I'm a trophy wife. D. Arabian is not often outspoken about her sobriety, but occasionally something pops up and she will make a comment that sheds some light on her own recovery. For instance, in a January 2021 Twitter thread, she discussed her choice to remain sober and noted that while she feels she's very open about her sobriety, quote, lots of folks don't know about that part of her life. The topic arose after The Bachelorette star, Tasha Adams, ultimately chose to be with contestant Zach Clark, who is sober. After watching the show, The Arabian voiced some of the concerns she had before getting sober herself and admitted that she'd wondered things like how it would affect her eventual wedding and how she'd celebrate without alcohol. Though she hasn't spoken on why she made the decision to be sober and she doesn't claim that it's a right choice for everyone, she has now been sober for more than 22 years. After two decades without a drink, the Food Network star called her sober life, quote, awesome. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite food stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.